On a quiet summer Sunday, the Chief Justice of the United States stood peering out the sixth floor window of the school book depository building. Just seven months before, an assassin had waited at the same window to kill President Kennedy. Chief Justice Warren was one of several Warren Commission members to visit the assassination site. He spent two hours in the building to see with his own eyes the places he had heard about from witnesses. Then the Chief Justice did something unexpected and unprecedented in American history. He went to the Dallas County Jail to visit Jack Ruby, a man whose case may someday reach the Supreme Court. For three hours, Justice Warren questioned Ruby. He apparently came away satisfied that Ruby had not known or seen Oswald before the assassination. The Warren report issued this fall contained few surprises. The commission said it was convinced beyond doubt that Lee Harvey Oswald killed the president that Oswald was working alone without the help or planning of any other person. The commission was critical of the FBI for failing to warn other police agencies of Oswald's whereabouts. And it was critical of Dallas police for having permitted Ruby access to the basement where he shot Oswald. The Warren Report became a bestseller circulated throughout the free world. And it did much to dispel rumors, particularly those in Europe, that the assassination had been a part of an international plot the Chief Justice came to Dallas and left without saying one word to Newsman. 